So Ta'amu, the senior from right near Pearl Harbor, looking to throw on the first play. Wants to go deep. There's a receiver open. Right out of the gate. NWO. A TD. Shots. Jordan Ta'amu has a tremendous touch on the deep ball. Maximum protection and a beautiful throw to start. Brand new starting secondary for Alabama, and they knew they were going to get challenged tonight. First play out of the gate, Ole Miss strikes for a touchdown. Matt Luke said we absolutely at the start of the year. From the 25, Ole Miss's second play, they threw a 75-yard touchdown pass on the first, trying to do it again, and it's incomplete, looking for DeMar. Play on the football. They have five members of the secondary from last year's national championship team that went on to the NFL, three on active squads, two on practice squads. Well, that was important part of the game for the Rebels offense. And they have to feel like they have to score a lot tonight with the way their defense has played all year. The pass deflected and falls. Alabama secondary. But with two safeties deep, this suggests running play here for Ole Miss. C.J. Moore recovered the fumble for Ole Miss. Here's Scotty Phillips. Pass protector. He's really been a nice addition to this offense. Just the eighth player ever to rush for 200 yards in a game for Ole Miss. Ta'amu has good feet. Throws on the run. Out of bounds. In connection. Looked like Alabama was offside. Might be a freebie for Ta'amu. Metcalf looked like he pushed off yeah. from here. No, his dad, Patrick. Three-time Pro Bowl defensive back to the Miami Dolphins. Tom's pass deflected on third. Seven touchdown passes, averaged 37 yards apiece. <laughs> Scotty Phillips, nice run on first down for the Rebels. Field, find your weaknesses. Play fake to Phillips. They want to throw it on second and one, and it's dropped. He's like that. And then they've got to convert when they get nice opportunities. Tamu hands it off on the run. Phillips into the secondary, across midfield, and down to the four. That tonight, there might be a lot of flags on both sides. Isaiah Willard, the backup running back, is in. On target, A.J. Brown. Only one catch for six yards in the game at Tuscaloosa last year. They really focused on him. Couple of fakes and a strike for a first down, and they're back across midfield. Single coverage up the top. McMillan has taken the place of Wilson at linebacker. Tamu trying to take advantage of the single coverage. And, he might and because Jennings got him, watch 33 come from the top of the screen. He was not able to get enough on this football because he had single coverage on the outside. Jack Wilson back on the field for Alabama. Out of the gun on second and ten. Tom who takes off running. He got blasted and fumbled. And Alabama has the football. At the 38. Things that Nick Saban said was a double-edged sword. You're ahead. Right. You feel comfortable perhaps making a change, but you don't want the momentum of the game to change when you have them on the ropes. He has a lot of respect for the scoring ability of this Ole Miss team. So you want. Second and five, Scotty Phillips. Deontay Thompson swung him around and sent him backwards. They'll pass and take their shots when they present themselves. Isaiah Woolard gives Scotty Phillips a breather. He stayed in the block for Tom, who on target to DK Metcalf. First down, he got chopped down to the third. Have to stay with your plan, you got to believe you got enough time to make some plays, because what you don't want to do is force one down a little bit mm -hmm. if you can, and try to regroup the best they can. Willard remains the back. Tom, who faked it to him, and it's incomplete. Trying to find Rawlings right here. Last week against Southern Illinois, nine penalty. There's the tackle, the takedown by the center, and that's a hard ask to block Quinn and disruptive inside defensive tackle for Alabama. Veteran offensive line, and Tamu is dumped. Christian Miller, the linebacker. Third down, 28. There is a flag down. Jump ball. And almost intercepted. Here and get into Alabama territory. Down three scores right now. 
Just a three man rush to Amu to the 42 yard line. All right, Adnan. Great to be working with you tonight. Tim Tebow here in Oxford this weekend with our SE. Because Jordan Sims gets a tackle right here, and this is Bugs over here with the hands to the face. Or actually up on the top here is Isaiah Bugs. Greg Little, the left tackle, one of the highest regarded left tackles in yep. college football. He might have the two best left tackles in college football in this game tonight. He's longer and a little bit heavier than Laramie Tunsil, who was the last great left tackle they had here. And a first round pick. Tamo throws a beautiful deep ball, a stride ahead of DeMar. Here's where you need your best player to make a play right here. A.J. Brown, three catches. They need him to step up and make a play. Third down and 10 to Amu under pressure, escapes, has the first down and much more. Slides down. Big play, big play, you need a conversion, the pocket collapses, you try to keep the play alive, you break a couple arm tackles, and you get your team a new set of downs with the slide. After the play fake to Scotty Phillips, going deep for single coverage, and incomplete, well covered by... On second and ten, back to the run with Scotty Phillips. He got three. Here, it looks like he's going to be on Trayvon Diggs. That doesn't look like a good matchup to me, unless Diggs is blitzing off that slot. You'd think four down territory here for Coach Matt Luke. Pressure for Tamu, running for his life. Throws, caught. The coordinator wanted to make sure they have the right play on this key fourth down. Four-man Alabama rush, but they still get pressure on and a sack. Christian Miller. And his numbers through three games, almost identical to Baker Mayfield's last year yeah. through his first three games. Yeah, he's replacing the Heisman Trophy winner, and there really hasn't been any drop-off at quarterback. In that defensive front that are ready to take on bigger roles. Third down and one, and Phillips dropped for a loss. Big loss. Season. Watch just inside. Now, this is kind of a bare defense you have. They're covering up the guard, both guards in the center and Quinn and Williams, who has been a disruptive force all season. He doesn't look as important. Led him to his major here at Ole Miss, so the impact of a high school teacher lingering effects. And Knox came here largely for the academics. He was a walk-on, not on scholarship. He was a quarterback in high school before switching to tight end. Tamu goes down. You're out of Columbia, South Carolina. Alabama is able to do what they want to do on defense. That's play with two safeties, rush with four, and get enough pressure to harass the quarterback. They're playing man. Managerial change made a big difference for the St. Louis Cardinals this year. At least it seems to have. Isaiah Willard, the ball carrier. Alabama does it. And happy for Tua. And he, his handling of his situation has given him at him at the helm but as you said it's clear that Jalen Hurts is an improved thrower this season Willard did not get a first down and that's Ohio State without Urban Meyer and they're in a battle there for sure Ohio State averaged 64 and a half points per game in their first two to the gate here early in the season now you know they played in a very hostile environment college station a week ago but they haven't looked starter late last year when Shea Patterson got injured since transferred to Michigan. The pass is batted down to the line of scrimmage by Anthony Jenny. Those talented sophomore wide receivers after the interception they took a look at the replay and team that C.J. Moore was down as he hit the ground at the full. <laughs> I think it's got a big lock on the front too. Holly's probably got. Yeah, got Holly knows there. everything about all of these turnover things. Maybe that they just don't want him to get off the bench and he turnover. Yep, they're trying to take something away from this and right on cue, an interception and a touchdown for Xavier McKinney. Now Xavier McKinney is right here. And again, it looks like two safeties that are going to split, but he's going to work to the middle and just kind of bait Ta'amu into the throw. He's reading the eyes of the quarterback the whole time. And he picks it off. That's a case where the quarterback's eyes were outside. Did last week in one of their home games. They have not played well tonight, but they still have a whole ball here. 
His brother played football here. Matter of fact, his brother was the starting quarterback here. Tom is now on the staff. He said it was pretty cool when you're in the seventh or eighth grade to drive up in their arch rival game in the Egg Bowl. Third and nine. Tom, who taken down by Jamie Mosley. The or talk some stuff at each other. Yeah. Jordan Tom, a little option look, and here's Tylen Knight thrown across the. He's his whole rhythm has been disrupted. He has not had a, a good ball game, but he's still out there, and this is an opportunity. And Lodge has won. Well, here's what here's what happens when you play Alabama. Nick Saban and his defense, they've done tough opponents, but on the road, really only that game at LSU. It'll be double digit favorites, you would think, at all. It's interesting. But well, we haven't really talked about Tomu's backstory. He's the starting quarterback here. We mentioned earlier, no D1 offers out of high school. Right. Wanted to play at the end of this Jordan school, and he seems like a very honest and smart guy, so we're going with it. But uh, he wasn't even the starter his first year there. He had a magnificent second season. And it paid off last year as he's always repped his number one and number two offense and particularly the quarterbacks the same number of plays. And so when Shea Patterson was hurt last year you play up tempo like they like to play when they've got it rolling they're playing extremely fast. <laughs> no it's obviously he's talented but his efficiency is is remarkable. I mean he just there's just very few wasted plays. I mean every decision is a good decision. Slobber on there for you and we'll be good. Yeah. Wow. He's probably saying we should have done this while the game was still on ESPN <laughs> before we went over. Not that we don't love being on ESPN news which is been out dump on us. Well he was a uh, started out as a defensive back moved to running back in the spring. Mm -hmm. You need to prepare harder for these games. The rest of us were doing namaste this morning at the local yoga. What do we call it?